Hello everybody, welcome back to The Hunter Calls the Wild. Uh, it's been, it feels like ages since I last played, even though it was actually only on like Saturday or something. Um, we've been having a good time, uh, wandering around. Uh, we're currently on a very, very important mission, uh, which is to uh, blob up a whole bunch of hunting pressure up here. Where are we? Yes. Uh, this is very important because uh, I've never been like goose hunting in the game, and I really want to. And that is the only reason why it's important. Uh, <coughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to get a little fast travel right on here. Uh, it's very important when I stream this game to make sure I have absolutely everything closed that I can. Because uh, my streams tend to not be terribly happy. Straight away we're hearing fallow deer. I'm not expecting it to come. Uh, but before any of that, we need to do the most important thing of all in the game, which is fixing our kit, making sure we have all of the correct equipment. So for example, it seems that I have no guns. <laughs> this is this is a, a big problem if you're looking to go uh, hunting. You, you kind of need guns. Uh, so let's have a look at what the missions that we have are. Uh, none of these require any particular weapons. Uh, we need to have a handgun. And that's pretty much it in terms of our, our requirements for, for what weapons we carry. So let's have a look through the guns, what we've got. Uh, actually, let's have a look through perhaps the ammo that we've got, because that's easy. Because the guns, for whatever reason, don't say what, what classes they're useful against. Let's take all of this off. All of that. Don't need any of it. Uh... I want to bring out the 303 British. It's one of my favourite guns. Um, it's kind of a shame that it doesn't hit class 9. Uh, where are we? Oh my god, I'm absolutely blind and I can't see it in here. Oh, there we go. Point 303. Uh, I should have a bow so that I can use it, I guess it's this one, with my night vision sight, or is it this one? What's the difference between these two bows? This one has a higher draw rate, this one has better everything else. We'll use the bow for them. Uh, let's go with these. I need three or three British rounds. I need tracer arrow. Uh, well, did I really use all of my non-tracer broadhead arrows? That's good. Arrows, I... We'll need that because I'm going to need a handgun. I want range find a bow sight, that's quite heavy. Uh, I think I'll have to kill the goose crawler because I oh no, I'm going to need that actually, aren't I? <laughs> I'm gonna need that today if we're planning to do something. I don't have enough weight for what I want to do, so I might actually have to take off the bow, even though I really want the bow. I don't think I have enough weight capacity for the bow. Because uh, I'm going to need a shotgun for goose hunting. What's going to be the best shotgun for goose hunting? Probably the lightest shotgun. Um, well, they all weigh 4, apart from this, which weighs 4.5. Hmm. 
The right tools to deal with fast moving prey. Ah, okay. Magazine size is only two rounds. This has a yeah, magazine size of three rounds. But you can't put any sort of scope on this. So I guess we're going to do that. I'm going to go into the store and check what's compatible with it. In terms of scopes, marksman reflex sight. I still haven't figured out what the difference is between these two. Um, okay. uh, sights. Marks one exact reflex sight. We don't need that. We need 20 gauge birdshot, buckshot, slugs. That's marvelous. We need a handgun. Uh, we've, what handguns we've got? We've got 0 0.44, 357, 410. Oh, I might want the point of Magnif Magnifico. 0.45. Yes, yeah, so let's grab one of you. And. I don't know what the. <laughs> I don't know what the, the shotgun round for you is. Hang on. Oh, let's also consider grabbing this. Uh, we need a 0 0.410 bullet bird shot. There we go. Fantastic. Uh, what is our mission actually with the handgun? Tika now, two animals down with a handgun. I'm guessing I'm not in Tika now. Um, that's okay then. Where's Tika now? Tika now's this bit. No, I'm not in Tika now. That's okay. Uh, storage. Did I actually get that out? I didn't get that out. Um, okay. And what I don't have is anything that will deal with a class 9 at the moment. Which is a problem. And I don't have enough weight capacity to deal with. Maybe I should grab out the bigger shotgun, even though I like this one. Hmm. Okay, we'll grab the bigger shotgun. Because this will deal with our class lines, so our bison, if we need them. Uh, I could bring along one of the traditional bows. I'm really bad at using them, but I could bring one. I've got enough weight for it. I actually technically have enough weight for like a proper gun. Oh yeah, because this is slightly lighter. I don't think I have enough weight for a crossbow and a scope. Though. Do I? How much is the crossbow scope? Uh, where are you? Crossbow scope. No, I don't have enough for the crossbow and the scope. Uh, I should actually check to see if any of the bows that I don't own are lighter than four. UA4, UA4, UA3.5. Hmm. Shall we try out the Razorback Light? Sure, let's grab that. Storage. 
is that light that I need? Arrows. 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 I don't think I can fit a sight to the bow. Oh yes, technically I can. Okay, right. So that's everything that we're going to need. <clears throat> Uh, let's hit escape. Uh, so our point three three goes on one. Our handgun can go on three. Our shotgun on five. Our bow on four. I suppose. Uh, we're gonna load up the regular old bullets in this for now. Uh. I'll load up the take all comers ammo and the shotgun and the medium arrows in that with sights Hyperion sight on the 303 oh I don't need the reflex sight can't use it with this Is there anything useful I can do with that spare point five? I could get a change from, from this bow to the bow I'm used to. Which is this one. Uh, Then I want to see what do I prefer? Do I prefer that view or single pin sight? That's utterly useless. <laughs> um, that's not the sight I thought it was. I thought it was a. a th I thought I was using a three pin sight there. Maybe I've not bought the three pin sight. Spare cord, both items. Sure, we'll give that a go. Uh, what would be really handy is if, is if I knew what what range increments those were at, uh, but I don't. That's fine. Right. Okay. So kit fixed. That's the the important thing. Uh, I'm also I've been playing a bit of Skyrim, so I'm trying to use the the WSD to navigate the map, and it's not working. Uh, we need to figure out if there's a way across this river. That's the next point of, of most importance. Uh, we have a new person in chat. We have Shaskor. Hi there. How's it going, friend? Long time no see. Uh, <clears throat> Shaskor is a member of the, uh, the, the Fizone fan community where I started out. <laughs> new Twitch who dis. I love it. Um, me dis, I dis, and we're going shooting. Hopefully we're going to go shooting some geese, that's the plan. Uh, it's a two-step plan. Step one is scout out the area, and step two is set up some goose shooting decoys and, and all that business. I saw some tracks in that area earlier this morning. Hold on, I'll send the coordinates. Earlier this morning. What time is it? It's 4.53. Blimey, you were up early this morning, weren't you, Lassie? Um, Shaskla has some porridge. Very nice. Actually, I actually haven't had porridge in ages. I should have porridge. Not right now, obviously. Uh, but I should have porridge again soon. Is this a way across? That would be super handy if there's a way across just right here. Hmm. 
never played the Hunter Call of the Wild. What's it like? Um, I absolutely adore this game. I have something like 230, 240 hours in this game. Of that, nearly 200 was just playing a single map. Because I really liked playing that map. Uh, I adore this game. Um, it's... You can't really see it at the moment because it's a little dark still. Uh, once day dawns, you'll see that it is a fantastically pretty game. Uh, I find the hunting is kind of a a really good sweet spot between feeling authentic and it feels like you know there's a sensible environment around me. There's a sensible relationship between what I'm doing and what happens in the game. It has multiple maps. Yes, there's. Uh, hang on. There's this many maps. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There's 12 maps. Two of them are base game, the rest are uh, DLC. Um, but there, there's enough content with most of them that I don't feel like them being DLC is a particularly bad thing. Uh, which is a very rare thing for me to say about DLC in general. <laughs> Microphone is very quiet. Hmm. Is this any better? Am I coming through better now? I uh, I won't janked around with my microphone a little bit off stream because it wasn't picking up properly. So that might be why I didn't. Perhaps I didn't set it back to how it should have been. Um, other things about this game is really chill. Sometimes it's so chill that I start feeling very sleepy while I'm streaming it, which isn't necessarily a great thing. Um, still a bit quiet compared to other internet content. I am up more or less at the max of, of what OBS will let me have. Okay. You've got physical volume sliders. Right, I may have to jiggle with that more off stream. See if there's. I can, I can do something fancy. I'm not the most technologically savvy. So, where, where other streamers might be talking about things like game and compression and stuff when they're talking about microphones, I just like. find whatever sliders I can, set them up. To max. <laughs> That's my, my approach to microphoning. Speak loud and get close to the microphone. Is this any better? That's, that's as close as it can physically get to my face. That is a road, yeah. It's three for my handgun. Okay. Hello? No, 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 Damn it. <laughs> if it's a dynamic microphone, you practically have to kiss it at all times for best quality. I have no idea what that is, but I'm guessing it's probably not that, because it's attached to my headset. Uh, which is how I know it's as close to my mouth as it, as it can visibly be. Um, <laughs> That's good, okay. Well, without diving deep into technical things that I don't understand, that is probably as best as it can get. Oh boy, okay. Well, we've seen our first animal, we've also lost our first animal. Good start to a stream. Headset mics are often dynamic microphones. What does being a dynamic microphone mean? I'm very curious.
about? No. I wonder if I need my night vision goggles. We're in that sort of awkward transition phase where it feels a bit dark for not night vision goggles. But too bright for night vision goggles. Uh, uh, that's probably okay. It has a tiny dynamo in it, it doesn't require any additional power to work. Oh, I had not realised that the, the the dynamic meant dynamo, that... Oh. Huh. Learning things. Normally I come on the stream and I sort of ramble off about you know, facts about dinosaurs and ecology and hydrology and geology or whatever. Today I'm learning things. It's a nice change of pace. I'm going to set up to there because we're nearly at the straw fields. Have our first feed zone of the day. Uh, Shesko says it basically has a tiny engine driven by the pressure waves of sound. There have been pigs here. I suppose that makes sense that there are pigs here. Oh, there's a pig right there. Let's see if we can get you a bit closer. I'll squeak for you as well. But I'm not expecting you to come in close. I'd love that pig. Where are you, pig? Come back. Damn it. Piggo? Ready, please? Ready, please? I only want to put like one, maybe two bullets in you. Nothing more. Damn, I think that pig is too clever. Uh. Generates very little power, however, it needs to be amplified. Your computer handles that part. The capability of the sound to drive the dynamo. Drops off very quickly the farther away it is. I see, okay. It's really suitable for stage work so it doesn't pick up feedback from speakers or the noise of the volume. Also helpful if you only want to record your voice and not your keyboard. Ah! I see. Well, it might not be that then because I have had many reports from various games when I've been hammering on the old keys that that shows up in my audio. <laughs> uh, so it might not be that fancy. That's a clever system. Oh, I can't believe this. We didn't get the pig or the roe deer. We were sat in between them and neither of them wanted to come say hi. What a disaster. Okay. It's probably because you're quiet and have increased your gain, and slash or have a very noisy keyboard. To be fair, I do have quite a noisy keyboard. Um, I'm old enough to remember the days when all keyboards were noisy, clicky clacky keyboards, uh, and. That is absolutely one of the things that I absolutely look for 
in, when I'm buying a keyboard is, does it have a nice long travel time and a good bit of resistance to it? Which generally translates into clacking noises. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a partially... I thought for a sec that was a deer just right in front of my face. Um, it's a partially self-inflicted problem. Maybe hunched over your keyboard, bring your microphone closer to it. I think actually my my posture while I'm streaming is one of the only things about <laughs> about my sort of day to day existence that isn't in some way like being done wrong. I feel like I have fairly good posture. It's the only thing. Oh my god, these fields are really completely empty. Oh, here's the geese. Right, so we know there's geese in the area. That's good. This spot up here, I'm wondering if this is going to be like a, a hunting stand or something, because this would be a great spot to like cover potentially four different fields. Get used to that noise. <laughs> We're going to be hearing it a lot. This is one of the reasons why I want to shoot the damn things. Because I hate the noise they make. What was that sleeping zone? That was a fallow deer rest zone. This is going to be a somebody else rest zone perhaps? Oh, are you coming down? You are. How far away are you? About 60 meters. Oh, don't mind if I do. There you go. Nope, okay, too far away. Thought it was worth a try. Seeing as they seeing as they just basically came to me, I thought we'll give it a go. Um Once again, I wish I had my virant with me. What's the actual effective range on the uh, the 410 bird shot? That's the same. Maybe I should have brought the 20 gauge. Maybe that has better range. Who knows? Oh right, I was going to check out this rest zone. Luckily there's another one up ahead. Can I tell that you became your media classes audio specialist because none of your classmates bothered to learn anything about the audio equipment you needed to use? I, I mean, I definitely wouldn't have guessed that, but it, it absolutely tracks. Uh, <laughs> oh, really? Okay. So when I was was singing the praises of this game earlier, what I didn't mention is there's always something wrong with it. It's not always the same thing that's wrong with it from, from one moment to the next, but there's always something wrong with it. In this case, it's trying to put down uh, waypoints in the places you want them today. There we go. <laughs> Sounds ominous, dangerous to get lost in the wild. I mean, particularly in Hirschfelden, wild is maybe stretching the definition just a little bit. Uh, oh, we have Rodeo sleeping here from midnight to 3, and we have Rodeo sleeping here from midnight to 4.30.
Hello. Oh. Hmm, you're a little far away. So the only thing I have for you guys is uh my handgun or my shotgun. Uh, what do I have in the... I can't find anything. What do I have in this? Okay, I've got the bullets in this. That's what we want. Let's have a quick read of some lore. The Dark Wild Boar was slain. There is still one evil boar out there. They call him... Sausage! <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Otto Camilla. I have no idea who or what Dr. Otto Camilla is supposed to be. But that's hilarious. Uh, where were you? You're just over there. Hmm. What is the story behind my avatar in the corner? Uh, that is a piece of artwork drawn for me by a wonderful friend of mine. Uh, she doesn't have much of a story per se, she's just a representation of me. Uh, she's got little sort of raptor wing type things because I'm a paleontology graduate and a massive nerd for dinosaurs. Uh, <laughs> okay. Deer is coming in. No, nope, I don't want that. I want this one. What range are we at? Oh, I've not put the bloody sight on you. Ah! Ah! Hang on, scope. So now I'm moving away. No, you're still coming towards me. Okay. Fantastic. Pretty feathers. Thank you. They, the friend in question, they did a wonderful job. Uh, considering that they're not like a paleontology expert or a paleo artist at all, I f think they captured particularly kind of the unusual shape of a raptor wing very well. Uh, I was extremely happy. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking that's probably gonna be- oh, I'm thinking wrong for geese hunting. Geese hunting is very close range, so I need to be in the middle of the field. Which is the biggest field? Well, I might as well pick one of the southern fields because it's closest. So I'll probably set up over there. Uh, let's grab this trophy. Ooh, a gold rank. Very nice. Almost exactly 50 meters. Get some nice handgun score on the go. Okay, I think I'm ready to head back and go and grab uh, my setup. So we know there's plenty of geese that come to these fields. Ah, oh, sweetie. Okay, so. Uh, I need to put on my backpack. <laughs> I know, it's, it's, it's a little, it's a little joke I have, because Fionn does occasionally stop by, and I assume at some point they're going to notice it. Uh, which is a prospect that does fill me with a bit of fear, it must be said, but. Right, what do I need? I need a layout blind. Apparently I already own one. Oh my god, I've got all these extra things. These are DLC stuffs. Uh, deluxe layout blind. I only need one. It's fine. Canada goose decoys. Feeding. Searching. Sentry. Oh no. <laughs> Reading the effect. The effect of multiple decoys in the same area stacks up to a max of, and then it doesn't tell you. That's the worst. <laughs> um, up to a max of who knows how many. Probably less than 10, but we'll. We'll probably know more than 10. We'll, uh. <laughs> Visits by the laydown themselves. Yes, absolutely. Uh, for those not in the know uh, who might be listening, uh, a post went around on, on, I think mostly Tumblr, this was certainly where I saw it, about uh, gender-neutral forms of, of 
Maud and Lady and came up with Laydan, which I think was Eater of Bread. <laughs> uh, which is absolutely glorious and I wholeheartedly support it. Uh, I need to go back, grab this, request this. I'm going to get on this. And then I need to turn the volume right down for you guys because this is the loudest thing uh, in the entire game. Where are we heading? Uh, I need to head here to get across the river. <laughs> and then... Going over here. Oh, we spooked someone. Ow, ow, ow. Okay. That was a tree that I wasn't able to drive through, apparently. <laughs> uh oh, that's a rock. I'll go around the rock, go around the other rock. Uh, try not to die. Okay. Right. Big open field. I can turn the volume up for you guys again. Do 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 do. <laughs> it's, it's, it's sort of a weird f feature of how the quad bikes were put into the game, you know, after it was made. They're, they're a free DLC. But, uh, you know, there's obviously some bushes that you can walk through as a person. You can push your way through the branches, etc. And so they don't have hitboxes. And that means you can also drive through them, even though you absolutely couldn't do that IRL. Uh... Right, I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing with pulling these guys out, so I'm just going to sort of stick them up around a bit. Drop. Are you guys coming down? I wouldn't recommend it. I'm still here. <laughs> Drop. Uh... Okay, let's have... No, let's have more of the searching and sentry ones. Cause then the geese, the geese will be like, ah, we don't need to keep watch cause somebody else is keeping watch for us. When you hit a tree, either it has to break or be immovable. One of them is a lot harder to program than the other. Very true. Um, I should actually put out my layout line so I know where I'm going to be. Which I guess is sort of here-ish? I've never used one of these before. What's it like? Oh, so, ooh, ooh, okay. I see. I'm assuming you guys aren't going to come down as I've just been popping my head out. No, okay. How do I, how do I get out? <laughs> how do I get out of the, okay. Like that. It's a strange sleeping bag. It's very odd, isn't it? Uh... Okay. Let's put four of these guys down as well. Oh, someone's over there calling to me. I can't see them and it won't tell me who they are, unfortunately. I can see them. 
Sometimes you can finagle it a little bit by uh, scrolling in and out. It's a red deer. Hello. I'm going to take a, a quick break from Canada Goose Hunting <laughs> to see if I can get this red deer over here. Because that would be lovely. Uh, if I'm lucky, I'll be able to get him into bow range. Imagine that hunter just quickly adjusting their scope back and forth to see better. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea how these scopes work IRL. I must admit, I was just sort of assuming you could, like, rotate it at the top. And that would... Like, get it for you. If that's not how it works, then... You can very easily adjust the, uh, the zeroing of a scope. And you can take scopes on and off with ridiculous ease in this game. Uh, I think there is actually even a button, like a hotkey, so you can do it while you're carrying the gun. But I don't remember what that is. Okay. No, 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 no warning calls. It's fine, I'm totally another red deer. You should come and say hi to. Where the hell are you? Oh, damn it. Nope, get out of the way, Leaf. Uh, if it's anything like manual lenses on cameras, there's a loop of the lens you rotate to adjust it. Yeah, that's, I guess, sort of what I was thinking of, although perhaps not in quite so sensibly put to terms. No organs hit, god damn it. Okay. I like how I also I had my bow ready to shoot the thing so that I would create less hunting pressure. As if I'm not here specifically trying to create hunting pressure. Like that's like the whole mission. Um Right, we're going to assume that the deer is not going to die unless proven otherwise. Uh, normally I wouldn't leave a bullet in a deer, but I kind of want to get on with the goose thing. I feel like I was in a good spot setting up. I don't really want to muck about running halfway across the map in the search for a red deer. <laughs> like we've got, I'll put a marker on the blood trail, so if it does go down uh, we'll know about it. Okay. Oh, thank you so much for the follow. I'm just going to blob all of these down. Like, I don't see a reason not to. They'll be annoying to pick up later, I guess. But, uh... Littering. Is it? It's not littering. I'm gonna clear them all up and, you know, like, littering is just when you throw out rubbish. This is not rubbish, they're here for a good reason. Right, okay. Hop into this. Get out a short read Canada Goose Caller. Which I've used exactly once. It's littering until you clean it up. I mean, is, is putting a tent out in the wilderness littering? Like, it's a structure, it has a purpose. This is, these are structures with purpose. Uh, I'm going to put on the 410 birdshot to my handgun, because I've got a shotgun handgun. And the, nope, the birdshot to my shotgun as well. Then... <laughs> We're going to do this!
Speaking of cleaning up, you've got to deal with an empty bowl. Non sustainable buildings is lettering, okay. Now, normally I wouldn't use a caller this much. But I, I don't really know what the strat is. I also, I can't look directly up. There's so many geese in the sky! Oh my god! Oh, some of them are coming down. Annoyingly, they've decided to come down over there where I can't see. Oh my god, it's getting so loud! <laughs> Nope, okay, I'm a really bad shot with the shotgun, as it turns out. But, we got a goose. Apparently we shot it in its left ulna. Oops. No, I want to get in. I don't want to dismantle you. Okay. Goose number one. I guess we gotta wait for some more to fly over. I wonder if I put this in a bad place. If they're all gonna land up there, then maybe I need to... Maybe I need to put this so I can actually see there. Oops! Wrong oh, button. There we go. Nope. Turned it too far. Like that. I can see downhill. And now I've got a slightly better view uphill. Uh, Shesko says Rome is essentially built on top of littering of past Romans. <laughs> That's a way of looking at it! I wonder if I need more decoys. I wonder if I've not got enough down. Any of you guys interested? You're back. Welcome. You you didn't miss much. Oh, blimey, hello. Who are you? Oh, I can't really look at you. You're a red deer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm supposed to be shooting go geese here, but I guess you'll do. Uh... <laughs> oh damn, really? Oh, you're the one I shot earlier! You came back for me! Oh, thank you! You, you shouldn't have. You, you really shouldn't have. Like, it literally killed you. Um... Shooting go geezers. Uh, I'm I may be being particularly dense. I'm not certain what you mean. Uh.
Oh, hello. Well, I'll give a blow for you as well. But it's not really a blow on this, it's a squeak in that. This is just a child squeaky toy. Or a dog toy. Um... Just make all the noise, attract all of the animals. I will say, like, to look here, I'm doing quite the old twist around. If I'm supposedly laying down this, I must be like rolling over and over and over on the spot as I do this. Nope, they, they decided they didn't want any. I closed the PDF reader on my computer and my Twitch tab crashed. Huh. I don't think that's intended behaviour. He like flew through me. Nope. Nope, okay. Well, we got one. I would say our, our hit efficiency is not very high. Where did we hit one? I thought it was over here, maybe it was over here. That's it, there it is. Oh, we have a E in the chat! Hey there! Welcome. Uh, excuse me for a sec, I have a little visitor. So I'm asking questions about the barbecue. I've not done anything to a barbecue, so I have no idea what the answers to those questions are. Uh, welcome you! What goose did we get? A silver goose. We actually hit it with two shotgun pellets this time. That's the most I've ever, <laughs> ever hit a goose with. Two pellets. Uh, they won't come because they'll have seen me being stood up. I'm going to put down the rest of these decoys because it can't hurt. I don't know if there's a, a strap to this, but I feel like if I put them down, like, in this area, maybe they'll come more downhill of me instead of all choosing to sit uphill of me. Apparently boo is Latin for I yell. Really? That's... <laughs> that's kind of amusing. Um... See, I feel like if I was a goose and I saw this field full of geese, I'd be like, well, there's no point sitting down there on account of everything that's edible must surely already have been got. Uh, but apparently me and ge geese think very differently. Oh, that was a fox call. Well, I've probably spooked him off by running around the place. Oh god, I forgot how awful the noise of that thing is. Jeesh. Uh, right, let's get back in. Uh, let's put my re goose caller thing back on. Give him a little blow. And watch the skies. He says, I might come later. Ah, this is the saga of your, your remote control car. Um, Jessica says, I can't find any sources to back up that statement that I read somewhere on the internet. I mean, I guess the uh, my, my first port of call, and I don't see why you wouldn't have already tried this. My first port of call would be just like, 
the Wiktionary entry for Boo, because I normally find that etymologies on there to be quite sort of sensible. Alright, well, it was a pleasure to see you stopping in ye. Um, enjoy your, your car shenanigans. Oh my god, how many geese are in the sky? I think someone just sat down over here. I didn't see where. Oh, hello! <laughs> he just sat down right in front of me face. Um, okay. There's a few over there. I'm hoping for some a little closer than that, if I'm honest. Oh, they might have been all spooked when that one landed in front of my face and decided they didn't like said face. No, I don't think I can hit that. Oh, hello, who's this? It's a little roe deer. I'll squeak for the roe deer. Can't bend down enough to look at the road here properly. <laughs> oh, those geese is over there, but they're a bit far away. Is the road here coming? I can't see the road here. This not being able to, to move further down than this is really annoying. Uh, I think that sounded real close. Oh my god. Bloody everything is nearby, apparently. <laughs> uh, Shaskord looked it up. First recorded in 1630-40. to 40, Expressive formation. That's all it has to say. Hmm. Okay. Well, although I took a Latin class when I was like 13, I definitely could not offer any sort of opinion of my own. Oh my gosh, hello. Oh my god, you have a very impressive set of antlers there. Can I actually see you? I can. You uh, you don't want to stop moving though. Which is a little unfortunate. Oh hell, that's the wrong caller. I don't have my fellow dead caller on. Um, blast. Not you. Hang on. Geese, you gotta take a back seat for a sec. I'm trying to find where that fellow deal went. Oh my god, they are the worst noise in the world, aren't they? God almighty, shut up! Where did that fellow deer go? That's a foxy. Coming towards me. to change your ammo. Hmm. 
No, Phillips has wandered off. Blast. Okay, we'll change your ammo back. How are there this many goose nearby and I still can't see any, like, within range? How has this happened? They're all still over the hill. Come over here, you horrible birds. And I missed the fellow deer. What a horrible day. This lot are coming closer. They might almost be in range. I can't bend down enough to see what the range is. <laughs> I sort of thought this was going to be like a, you know, like a, a a fairly easy in and out, lie down, Canada geese will come. Oh, that one looks like an albino one or something. Canada geese will come, blast them, repeat. But actually, they're a bit more tricksy than that. Or maybe I just chose a bad field. Catching geese is hard work. Too much like hard work. Okay. This lot are coming close. Okay, I think... I think you guys are in range. Nope, I missed you. Okay. Well, I only got one, again. We are slowly, slowly working our way up. There must be loads of hunting pressure here now. I'm surprised this mission hasn't completed. Um, although last time, I am sort of worried because last time I only completed when they shot a boar. I'm a little worried. Um, okay, I'll lay back down. Blow that again. Have a look out for any fellow deer that might be straying close. Although, if they've got any sense, they won't. This thing makes really odd. <laughs> Not as kind of horrifyingly objectionable as the uh, the fox caller. 
but odd. Someone's landing. Ew, which one? Who's coming to land? Oh, thank you so much for the follow. Uh, Chryso Scion Dev. I hope you're enjoying the stream. There's one. One at a time on the geese. Oh, I'm creating hunting pressure more slowly because I'm shooting from inside a blind, of course. Of course that's how it works. Idiot Dizzy, you know the mechanics of this game. Um, no wonder it's a slow grind. I suppose I could, feasibly, jump out every time I wanted to shoot some geese. That's like a possibility that I have. To create hunting pressure more quickly. Hmm. Okay, while there's no geese around, I'm gonna go see if that fellow deer left any tracks. Did indeed. Is this a, the rest zone for Falodir? That is a rest zone for Falodir. Okay, he might come back to that. If I don't explode it, which to be fair I might do. Because so I think that might have been a level of Falodir that's a possible diamond. Uh, I would really, really love to have. A diamond fallow deer. The only diamonds I found on this map so far have been red deer. So it'd be nice to get something else. Come on, you know you want to come down. I know it's just the three of you, but it would be a good start. Oh, they've gone quiet. I see that means they're not coming. <laughs> just working on someone while listening to the stream. That's pretty chill! Uh, that's what I do a lot when I'm, I'm watching someone stream. Uh, there is absolutely no requirement on anyone to do anything other than luck if they don't wish to. Okay. You're behind a decoy, which is a little bit of a problem. Alright, that was you. Where's your friend? Where is your friend? Oh, over there. Coming this way? Coming this way at all? No? Okay. I don't suppose there's any chance of you guys coming down this day, you just had a shotgun shot. You'd be absolutely daft to. Oh, these two are thinking about it. 
Yeah, so you're just gonna have to sit on the floor there for a while, buddy. Um, no, I think they've decided against it. Oh, that's the sound of someone coming down. Maybe not over here though. Oh, hello. If I could see any of the others, I'd be able to like... Well, there we go. There is our mission complete. And we didn't even smush the Fallodia Zone either, which is good news. Uh, I'm gonna leave these structures here in case I feel like coming back. Because this was an alright zone for it. Uh, main mission! Oh wow, okay. That was one of the, the two, so we don't get the next ones until we've done this as well. Uh, oh, I'm feeling good. Oh, we have, uh, Crisis Eye on Dev in the chat. Same, at work, work watching. Thanks for the mention. I'm surprised you said it right. How do people normally say it? Um, because I feel like I just sort of said what I saw. Uh, where are we gonna go? We have lots of options. Oh, me! Oh, okay, well we're gonna go this way, because there's a fox. <laughs> That's the very first thing we're gonna do. Now I'm gonna look at my arrows. You're two to seven arrows, so you'll work on a fox. The chances of me hitting a fox with an arrow are negligible. All sorts of silly ways. It's the Latin name for maimed wolf. Ooh! That is exciting. Oh, you're 150 meters away. If I had a rifle for you, that would be perfect. But I don't. I have a really silly setup <laughs> instead. Um, oh, and you know what else I have? I've got a bloody backpack on. For, for all my uh, goose hunting gear that I didn't take off. Um. Maimed Wolf. I feel like I know which one a Maimed Wolf is, but I'm also going to Google it just in case. Uh. Maybe I'll pull this up for, for people on, on stream as well, once I have. <gasps> oh, they're adorable! Um, wait a sec. Wait a second. Add. Display capture. Sure. Look at these guys! Oh, they're, they're, they're the one. That it's I, I always get them confused. They're, they're the ones they have like a horsey mane, rather than a uh, rather than like a lion's mane. That's what I'm always expecting. Uh, anyway. <laughs> I'm 
actually got things I'm supposed to be doing. Would you believe? Like playing a game. Uh, okay, look. Right. Gotta take this backpack off. Because it will alert everyone to my presence. Make sure I'm not accidentally carrying any more goose decoys. No, I did put them all down. That's good news. Where are we going? What do I want to do? Oh, I want to set up um, things around the lake. Which meant exploring around the lake. So that's probably a, a good thing to get on with. Let's head... what way is the wind blowing? It's blowing east, so let's start from this tent and work our way down to this lookout point. I think that'll be a good first step. Why is my... there it is. Apparently lots of people have come through this way. Uh, are any of my quests not area specific? Travel to, travel to, travel to... This one. Find a big male bison. Oh, I actually also have to find some boar stuff in Mullervald. There's Mullervald, is it this top right bit? It is, okay. Maybe I should have stayed there. But it's fine. <laughs> I want to get this fox work quest done because uh, I always like to give the foxes priority because I know they're a bit finicky. Although I tell you what, I'm definitely not set up properly for fox hunting right now. So if I want to actually pop the blinds out and go shooting, I will need a respec. I'll need to grab my Ranger 243. And probably swap out the shotgun. Ah, but I don't have enough carrying capacity. Ah, we'll we'll figure something out. <laughs> um, I'm I'm wishing and wishing and wishing for the. Uh, Carrying capacity perk. It's just a shame that there's so much useful stuff in the other tree. Oh well, okay. It's 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 annoying that all the useful stuff in the other trees, or a lot of the useful stuff in the the other tree, is so far down the tree. It wouldn't be a problem if that was all like the the first tier stuff. I believe I am all am out of skill points and perk points forever now. I could mod the game, that's like a thing that I technically have the ability to do. Um, and there are mods out there that, that unlock all of the skill and perk points. Uh, but I won't do it, mostly because I sometimes get people in here who are from the like, the hunter community, and the hunter community is very anti-mod. Distressingly so. Anyone around? No? Nobody? I suppose we are in, in unmapped wilderness at the moment. I've been, I've been all around the edge of this area, but I've never actually been into the middle of this bit.
Mods feel too much like cheating for you. I mean, that's fair, each to their own. It is really just this, like, one thing that I want because I want to have, you know, like, one extra gun on me <laughs> at most times. Um... I play the vast majority of games that I own completely unmodded. The only games I typically plot mods on are things like Minecraft or KSP where like the modding is sort of part of the experience. I don't even mod Skyrim. And there's 8,003 mods available for Skyrim. I hit a tree while well, I was looking at the perks. I've, there's no point in me looking at these perks. I've looked at this tree a thousand times thinking, is there something I could chop and change? Is there something I could leave? Disturbed Vegetation is not as useful a track as I thought it was going to be, but I remember how often I used to lose animal tracks before I had it, and then I think, no, I'm keeping it. <laughs> Because if I was to chop and change something from this, like, this is absolutely vital for me. This is great when I use it. Honestly, this I, is one of the things I kind of use the least. Like, the only... Th the only bits that are useful, really, are... Hang on a second, I'm getting stuck on the hill. <laughs> the only the only bits of this that are useful. I thought this was gonna be like super duper useful. The only time this is actually useful is when I've got you've got like a mixed group of deer and you're trying to find like the male specifically to follow or the female specifically to follow. Uh, and then sometimes it's useful if you have like a mixed group and you you've picked out one of a particular weight and you're like, I want to follow that one. So it's not it's not as useful as I thought it was going to be when I picked it. Uh, but because it's so low down the tree, you can't really get rid of it and still have all of the higher level perks. Uh, then what else is there? This is amazing. This is the best perk in the entire game. Sorry, this, we're on skills, aren't we? Yeah, this is the best skill in the entire game. By a long way as well. This one's very useful. This one's super useful. This one's amazing. This one's fairly useful. You know, I, I've got enough of the higher tier stuff that I can't throw out any of the lower tier stuff because I need it to get to the higher tier stuff. I need... Yeah, I spent 15, and I think you need to spend... Well, theoretically, I could drop one skill point. But I think it would have to be from this tier, and I want everything I've got in this tier. There's no one out and about here. You'll just want to go back to the straw fields, eh? Maybe I should have followed that fallow deer. Regrets. What time of day is it in game? Nine thirty-eight. So maybe sort of seven, eight o'clock-ish was when that fellow deal was there. Uh, 
Oh, I should um, adjust the goose call on six anymore. I want the out the rattler on six. I have a wild ball caller back on zero there. Oh, yeah. Oh, bison prints. Okay. It's worth keeping an eye out for them because I've got the quest for them. Oh, I've got the shotgun because I. Mm. No, it's fine. Ignore me. I suppose I should also actually think about what. 15% of 20 years, and whether or not having the extra 15% would actually help. Uh, I suppose 15% of 20 is 3. That's enough gang capacity that would let me have all the things I want at any one time. God damn it. Tower is in sight. And presumably, once we're on the tower, everything else will also be in sight. We've not explored this area almost at all. So I really have no idea where foxes are going to be in it. Hello little squeaky dear. You can come to me. You're probably too far away to hear that, but if you did hear it, you can come to me. Come on. I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll be waiting for you up there. How's about that for a deal? Oh, I should also change my ammo. Shot on the shotgun, bullets on the handgun. Click to them so they like reload themselves properly. More evidence of bison. Which is the nicest phrase I can think of for poop. Um, oh, 
What the hell was that noise? Oh, I hear a rodeo. Oh no. We're not in a very good place to shoot a rodeo. Nope. Oh, I got him. I hit him. I didn't hit him well, but I hit him. I don't know why he didn't run away after the first one. But he didn't. Oh! There's a feed zone down here. And maybe another road there if we're lucky. Uh, he did die. So I want to find where he went. No, 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 I need to see you. Right, okay. There's a blood splatter from you. You didn't get very far. So that's fine. And we'll go back and find this blood splat. Actually, we'll go back and get the lookout tower, then we'll find that blood splat. Oh, Jesus. That looks uncomfortable. Get up. Get this hill. Look at that. Or Alsichtspunkt. Yeah, Alsichtspunkt. Oh my god, I can't say it. Alsichtspunkt. There we go. <laughs> when it's not being murdered, that's theoretically the German language. <laughs> right. Oh, there's a, a lookout. No, there's an outpost there. That would be very handy to get to. It is unfortunately downwind. But... Probably still worth heading to. Oh, it's not downwind anymore. The wind is now blowing south. Well, that's good and bad. It's bad because we were planning to go south ourselves. Uh, but it's good that it means we'll be able to go to the outpost without it being downwind. I wonder how many floors down I have to go before I can jump without breaking my neck. Probably one more. Oh, this looks fine. There we go. Zero necks broken. Uh, oh. That was the incoming track. Where's the outgoing track? I sort of thought you did run off this way. You did run off this way, okay.
I should put a mark on this. Oh, there we go. Oh my god, I somehow managed to hit him in the face. Not what am I zeroed to? I am set to the default zeroing. Huh, it must have just been a lot closer than I realised. What's the... This is the default zero to 40 metres, okay. I guess I'm a bit too used to when I'm not using the rangefinder to using the... um. Uh... The world will come to me. It's using the traditional bows. They always... I don't know where the zeroing point on them is, so I always end up not being able to hit anything unless I'm like 20 meters away. <laughs> I don't think I've ever headshot anything with a bow in this game before. The only time I've ever headshot something with a bow is in Team Fortress 2. Uh... I'll give you a blow on the horrible, horrible, horrible fox blower. And uh, as I'm walking away from you, I'd be sort of vaguely surprised if you came within shooting distance. Crisis Scion says, I haven't used bows yet, still sort of starting out. They are they are definitely the hardest bit of the game to master. Unless you have the uh, the rangefinder bow sight from the I think it's the modern hunting DLC. Uh, in which case hunting with that thing is pretty dreamy, honestly. The only problem with it is that it has quite a high carry weight. Otherwise, I would have it on every loadout all of the time. You would never catch me not wielding a bow with that rangefinder bow sight. Uh, I, because I, as I said, I before I have about two hundred thirty, two hundred forty hours in the game. The vast majority of which is on Leighton Lakes, and I spent perhaps half of that time carrying around uh, the. I don't know how you pronounce it, but something like the Huawei recurve bow, the uh, the Native American hunting bow, and like I was okay with it at best after you know tens and tens of hours in game using it. I would never have said I was any better than okay at using it. So yeah, it's it's tough. I started out with the crossbow, which is basically just like using a gun, but worse. Uh...
I say worse. If you hit anything with it, it will die, regardless of whether you hit it in the right place or not. So it has that going for it. But then I've always been a bit of an oddball with this game, because like, I've never really used shotguns on this at all. I, you know, today probably accounts for about half of the animal kills I've ever gotten with a shotgun, I should imagine. Uh, looks like a nice little area. It's not, never mind. <laughs> Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Ah, if only I'd known you were there. Oh well. You're in sneaky mode, I was in sneaky mode. One of us had to give first. Unfortunately, I gave first. But we might know where you sleep. If that sounds very threatening and murdery, I guess it probably should, because like I'm out here to shoot animals. That is kind of threatening and murdery, at least towards the animals. Oh god, I'm the villain. I'm specifically the villain from Bambi, which is worse. Oh, this is not where you sleep. This is where foxes sleep. This is where foxes have literally just finished sleeping. I'm like 20 minutes late. Dang. They might still be nearby. I guess we're going to stop off at this question mark, because it's appeared. It's a hunting stand, we don't need to bother with it. Except to have a good nosy at the area that it's sort of standing watch over. But no one's here. Oh, that, if that's a fox zone... Oh, never mind. I was, I was about to be all excited because we found a fox zone, but it's not in the area. So it's not useful to us. In fact, weirdly, it might be more useful if we smushed it. I know that's very rare. To me to say something like that. That's borderline unheard of for me to say something like that. Well, it might be true. Oh, hello. That's not the weapon I was really going for. Oh, hey! Wow! 
That actually worked. <laughs> I'm I'm shook. Oh, this is where you sleep. Hang on, I'll pick you up in a sec. I just need to grab the the moon zone before your tracks vanish. Huh. It probably helped that you were like exactly fifty meters or forty meters away. The fox is right nearby. God, I hate the noise of that thing, it's so awful. But foxes apparently love it. Come here. Come here. Gotcha. I wonder if I can shoot you with this as well. No, I definitely can't. Yeah, yeah, I know. Oh, please give me the spot! He's in the tall grass. I can't see him. Thanks. Do not expect to see many more like it. Um. <laughs> Come back, you silly animal. I think he's run. He's got any sense he'll have run. I think that. Oh, well, yeah. He's not run far. However, oh, he's almost downwind of me now. I'm gonna have to move towards him. It's my only choice. The rain will help. Makes me harder to detect. I came at a good time, but it might have been a little bit late. Foxy, foxy, foxy. Any chance of you popping your head up? Or perhaps your lungs up would be slightly better, as that's really what I'm aiming to shoot. <laughs> just, just pop a lung over the ridge, will you? You know, casually. Oh, that, there he is. Um, no, nope, that's the wrong gun. That's also not the right gun. <laughs> well, that was a total disaster. What a mess! What a mess! <laughs> oh, God. Even if I pulled out the handgun, it would have been a rough shot, but... <laughs> I just pulled out the shotgun instead. And then being oh my god. Okay. Okay. We're gonna hang our heads in shame and go pick up this outpost. And massage my ears, because that fox and that fox collar are very loud. Very loud. I'm half deaf and I think they're very loud. It happens. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. 
And you gotta take the uh, the losses with the wins. You know. Almost perfect deer shot from 40 meters, win. Complete mess on a fox that then gets away. Just just the, the natural order evening itself out. I was playing D&D yesterday and uh, and every Tuesday in fact um, but particularly the last couple of sessions you know people have been like rolling with advantage for various things and more or less every time they do it they get one of the two dice they get one pretty good roll sort of 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 or a crit and then the other roll is like one or two this is just a natural balance of things. I know that's not actually how statistics works, but it's pleasing. Right. If the wind is blowing south, slightly southeast, I guess we probably want to head over to this, so that the wind is mostly not blowing, like, where we're going. It's blowing to the side of us. Alternatively, is there a spot down here we could start from? <sighs> Not easily. It's probably worth setting up a whole bunch of tents, like uh, one here, one sort of here, one here. Maybe even one here, 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 and here could be worthwhile. Messing around with tents, if it's in areas I've explored, is probably something I'll do off stream. Um, Oh, these, these outposts aren't too far away. Well, like, they're not very far away, but they might be, like, just too far away to be convenient. Okay, outpost get. I think I'm gonna swap out my shotgun. I've enjoyed using it for the birds, but I'm not planning on doing any more bird hunting. If I do, I've got the 410 on my handgun. Um, and I'd just rather have something else. <laughs> something to do with foxes at range. Like the ranger. Go. Uh, oh. Right, I'm gonna move you guys about. You go on five now. You play on uh, Crisis Sound says I play on Saturdays. Our group normally gets awful rolls at the funniest possible times. Makes for a lot of vomiting. <laughs> when you say the funniest possible times and vomiting, are we talking like being poisoned? Are we talking like drinking contests? Because <laughs> there are there are two very different ways of, of that people play D and D. I think, um, and it could equally be a, either of them. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's head this way. I wish I could could draw like a measuring stick on this map. I mean, there's many things I wish I could do with the map, uh, and I don't know if, like, things like filtering out need zones based on time or species or whatever, I don't know if there are mods for those. If there are mods for those, I'd seriously consider modding. I looked for them a while ago, like a long while ago, and I didn't see any. 
So it's my belief that there aren't any. Travel, portals, cut chases, things like that. Oh yeah, I can see that being uh, uh, vomit inducing. <laughs> uh, yeah, the game I play is, is Curse of Strahd, so it's it's very serious most of the time. Apart from when my character is like denying the supernatural of everything in front of them, which. It's certainly an interesting pick of a character trait for a Curse of Strahd campaign. <laughs> Preparing notes for game on Saturday. Ooh, what are you running? I'm always so keen to hear other people's D and D stories. Um, it really keeps me pepped. Particularly when the campaign that I run, which is Hall of the Dragon Queen, uh, which is sort of a little bit of a slow point, which sometimes happened, happens. Um, it's nice to hear other people's tales of daring do. They have a broom of flying, are in a place with several types of air balloons, and after a hag, and they're after a hag with a flying lily pad. Ooh, you might just get a chance to use dogfight rules. <laughs> You found dogfight rules for D&D? That's great. Uh, one moment, please. And the back, apologies for that, we have uh, estate agents around. So things are a little disturbed in the old workplace. Uh, Jessica says, I'm running a highly modified Wild Beyond the Witch like campaign. I mean, when I say I'm running Horde of the Dragon Queen, I guess I might also. Class mine is highly modified, so I know that feeling. Um, I'm very intrigued. I've read like the rules sections in World Beyond the Witch Light, but I've not read the actual campaign stuff. It sounds ex exciting and intriguing, though. Uh, Chris Sion says we have a lot of first-time players, including myself, so it's a nice goofy time. I'm trying to think. I'd say probably about half of my players that I've ever run for have been uh, either first timers to D and D or first timers to RPGs in general. Um, and it does. It does make for a good time. Uh, 
but in my current campaign, there's people, there's a few people who are very experienced uh, role players, and they are excellent at making like entertainment out of bits that I don't have very much material for, and would normally just kind of hand wave and skip over. Uh, I don't know if any of you are familiar with the Horde of the Dragon Queen, but for chapter four, it's like a travel chapter. Uh, and you go on a, on a really long road trip, or in my case, because my version is modified, a boat trip. And the game suggests that you throw like various certain scripted encounters at the players. But it also gives you crib notes on like two dozen NPCs that you can run. And uh, the experienced role players amongst my team were so good at like making their own stuff to do, just using these small number of NPCs with like a paragraph of description each, that I didn't end up needing to run any of the random encounters because they they there was they were finding plenty to do themselves. They didn't need additional bulking padding material. Uh, Sheska says, it's certainly got some fun in it. This is well beyond the Witchlight. Uh, I can't be afraid to change things as some parts can easily get boring and tedious for the players. Mm. Some of the official campaigns, they have like, I guess, it's not necessarily bad pacing, but they have varied pacing. You get the, the intense bits and the slow bits. Oh, jeeper jeebus. Right. Another puppy. I'm, I'm calling to the dogs. I don't actually know if I should be. Or if I should be following them to find out where they like sleep and stuff. As I am, you know, I've got to set up ground blinds for them. So maybe I shouldn't be hunting them. Even though it would be really easy. <laughs> Well, I've shot him now. Wow. For whatever reason, today is my day with the bow. I'm never going to get this good with the bow again. Uh, Tesco says, it was a part where they were supposed to either escape or be arrested by some guards. They just kept on reviving each other and kept the fight going. Ah. Uh, like a, a, a scripted loss encounter. There are always tricky things to throw at players. Ah. Uh, because players don't like... Players don't like losses, even scripted ones. This field of 8,000 tracks, if you hadn't guessed already, was a bi is a bison passageway. Um, a long abandoned one, though. Oh, I mean, we're going to have to turn south. It's the only way about it. To be fair, I thought it was obvious that they were hardly making a dent in the hit points. I'd forgotten to turn on the visual HP bars of the enemies. See, I, I don't typically run with like visual HP bars. I don't, for the most part, give players detailed HP information. Uh, not least because I know there's some like class features that will give them that. I don't want to make those feel pointless. Uh, what I typically go with is I, I borrow from 4th Ed the concept of a, when a creature is bloodied, which is when it's below half health, uh, and that tends to kind of give them a good enough idea of, of how they're doing in a fight. Because, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll get to a certain point and I'll be like, the creature's bloodied. And they'll, you know, if it's, if it's several rounds in, they'll be like, oh my god, we've only just got through half of its health, what the hell? Or if it's happening really early, they'll be like, oh, okay, these guys are going to go down easy then. Because they know they've got them to half health almost immediately. 
once they realise they decided to flee. It's nice when you finally get that through. They didn't even bloody any of the guards. Oh no. <laughs> there were some tough guards then. So a little bit of the problem with D and D, and this has been the problem with more or less every iteration of D and D that I'm aware of, is you know, like basic local schmuck guards are wimpy enough that you very quickly get to a point where your characters can do most things with relative impunity from the law, unless you're bringing in you know specialized PC killers. Ballywag knights are not to be messed around with. Ooh. I've not thrown a knight at my players. I've thrown a champion at my players. And they did much better than they had any right to, considering the level difference between the champion and themselves. Uh... Although my players are a little buffed relative to normal. I suppose you happen to be fox tracks, do you? That would be really nice if you were. I'm just saying. <laughs> Hmm. Second, I saw that, thought I saw something over there. I guess I didn't. But we've reached we've reached the quiet part of the game now, where there's not that many animals about, and we're not finding exciting new zones where animals do stuff. Either. How close are we to the water? Not very. We probably can't see the water.
that was the estate agents again. Apologies for having to go on mute for a little while. Uh, that should, I think, be it for today, at least. What have we got? Ooh, we have... No, nope, that's not a lead zone. I thought that was a sleep zone. I always get these disturbed vegetation tracks uh, confused with sleep zone tracks. Constantly. We have a hunting stand, which suggests that there's a nice open field here. Oh. There is a nice open field here. It's also a nice empty field. Uh, I am going to have to head downwind at some point. So I'm going to do it now, heading to this. It's not too far of a journey. And then maybe we'll be able to carry on southwesterly over in this direction for a bit. I might follow the road actually. We're halfway through the day. If I felt like it, I could go back to uh goose fields and blast a few more geese at the end of the day just to finish our stream off. We still got a fair bit of pressure there so it might be better not to do. We haven't been very successful at shooting things down here. Um, I don't mind the, uh, the floating grass, that just happens. There's the water. It's our first time seeing it. Someone's tracks are over here. Give them a quick nosy. Oh, hello! Bison. You're not a big enough bison for my quest, but I absolutely want to go pop you. Uh, oh, this is an information point. 
I guess we'll go read this before we, we go after the bison and probably we'll give the bison enough time to move on. Which is a little unfortunate. But these are how things must be. These tracks are these? These are red deer. Red deer, for the size of animal they are, leave very little droppings. Let's give this a quick little read. About the red fox. The red fox's auditory perception is acute, being able to hear the squeaking of mice at about a hundred meters. That is acute. Now let's them hear a cute little mouse. I need a laugh track, I've decided. I need canned laughter. That's what will really make or break this stream. Now, bison. For bison, we've only got a bow. So I need to get... Oh, jeebus. Really? You heard that? Oh, okay, that's fair, actually. I need you big. That's not what I wanted to do. Oh, hell, he's run. Well, I hit him. It wasn't the one I was aiming to hit, but I hit him. Oh, that was his face. Whoops. Okay, we're gonna dance, we're gonna- oh! I can do dancing. I'm happy with dancing. You're just gonna dance around in a circle though. That's not the most exciting dancing. Right. Okay. This is our consolation bison. Uh, that was right behind his face. That wasn't where I wanted him. That one though was much better. I didn't actually get him in the head. Okay. I guess we're going to see if we can follow them to wherever they went. I wouldn't mind sort of stalking them down while I've got nothing better to be doing than exploring this area. There's a house here as well. Spree cabin, apparently. I hear something coming. I do not see it, but I hear it. I 
Oh, blimey. Yeah. Yeah, you're big and scary. I'm a little cross that you heard me. I can't really see you well enough. Uh, why can I not shoot? Uh, <laughs> uh, hi. Oh, do I have to manually reload this one? Okay, I guess. Uh oh. Uh, hi. Oh, you move. That's cheating. Oh, for God's sake. Ow. Uh, get up. That was not where I wanted to shoot you. Oh my god. I'm... Ah! I'm stuck in one place. This is probably fine. Oh, I keep forgetting to hit that reload button. That was not where I wanted to shoot you either. Oh, that was a gold. Oh, that was a, a male that enough big enough to complete my quest. All right, I'm gonna have to follow this one in case it goes down. All right, what's my new quest? Summerfest this, Summerfest that. What about the bison? Two sick males have been sighted in eastern Tikkanau. Okay, we gotta go back to Tikkanau. Uh, right, where's the blood? There's the blood. Now, we might be following this bison for quite a ways, on account of... It's going to be impossible to figure out if it's gone down or not. <laughs> All we know is it went somewhere in this direction. But hey, that was fun! And exciting, and a little terrifying. <laughs> Just dancing with bison. Uh, I should actually go back and double check there's not any more bodies nearby. Because I didn't keep track successfully of if I harvested all the ones I shot or not. I think I did. But I should double check. Let's poke ahead through here. Make sure nobody ran off this way and died. I don't think we did. Okay, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. Maybe that's me being overcautious. Non-vital organ hit means probably we'll die, uh, but we'll not necessarily die quickly. Another old heart rate. Slow down a bit. There's plenty more bison there. <laughs> In case we ever feel the need to come back. Oh, 
Oh, she's very low already. We might not have to follow her very far. There we go. Here's a bison body. And I think we're gonna continue on this direction in our sort of hunt for fox and fox related tracks. Uh, Crisis Scion says, that was exciting, good job, thanks! Uh, I've currently just started playing Alaska, when the grey wolves surround me like that it definitely raises the heart rate. I can only imagine. Um, I've played a bit on uh, <laughs> raises the heart rate IRL, that too. Uh, I've played a little bit on uh, Medved. I, I sometimes do a late night stream where I play Medved, and like the the particularly at night, the soft snow and the darkness, like it's pretty, but it can get quite eerie. Oh, hello. Uh, Oh, I should use the zero back to a sensible distance. Aha! You used to chase me, now I can chase you. Except I can't keep up with you. Bison can move much more quickly than I can. Um, If I had a better shot, if they'd been more static, I could definitely have tried that one at that distance. But oh well. We claimed one more prize than we were expecting. That's already a win. Don't blame it. Yeah, I know. You're scared. Jesus, that went all the way through, apparently. Cripes. Um, imagine, like, imagine getting that harvest, that bison. You, you take it back. Imagine then having to extricate the arrow. <laughs> I don't even know what the best way to do that at that point is when it's gone almost the entire way through. Oh, apparently there's red deer over here as well. Um, I don't really have a, a place I'm aiming for anymore. I'm just sort of heading in the this direction. Hello. Ah, oh, I was a little too slow. But it's okay, Bison, I'm gonna follow you. I have literally nothing better to be doing with my time than following you. Classic human hunting. Just kind of follow them at a, a steady walking pace. They run, you follow, they run, you follow. Eventually they gotta stop. And then 
Pow. Ow, that hurt. Ow, I shouldn't have done that. Ow. The footage is very loud today. Um, I would like some quieter plants, please, game. <laughs> On account of I'm trying to be sneaky. It's also a pillar road here this way. Anyone down in the valley? In the valleys? Anyone? No. It's possible this herd has, has uh, made tracks somewhat too sharpish for me. <laughs> Probably helps that they're due downwind of me, so they're not gonna like settle. Because they'll keep smelling me and keep walking. <clears throat> If that's made a dent in the hunting pressure over here. A little bit of one, <laughs> not a lot of one. Hello. Looks like we have a winning candidate. Rock. 
it's not very visible. Very annoying. Nope. He turned. Nope. He moved. <laughs> Ugh. Two fluff shots. Two weighted arrows. Not ideal. I, I didn't need to manually reload that time. I don't know why it like... was doing that before. Oh, hello. Uh, you're a rogue. Think. You might also be a, a vamoosed deer. Oh, you might not be though. Where are you? <laughs> Shaskal has finished their D and dog fighting notes, apparently. Where the hell are you? I hear you, I don't see you. Well, yeah, 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 I know all about you. I'm coming, don't worry. I'm right on the edge of the uh, area that I'm supposed to be looking through now, so I might not be following them all the way. <laughs> Where did we get you? Oh, we got you through the neck. Yipes. Um, I was sort of hoping it would go a bit lower than that. But hey! Oh! Gold. The door just blew shut from the wind. Uh, I'm very jumpy when I play this game. Did I put the new eyes on? Yes. Alright, the bisons did go this way. The question is, how far did they go this way? Oh, somebody sleeps nearby. That's a good find. Even if I'm not entirely sure where the bison have gone, they might have doubled back on themselves. It's probably time to stop chasing them anyway. Oh blimey, old Riley. Or, oh, fine. If you want to be like that, then I won't stop chasing you. I'll continue trying to kill you. Yep. Yep, I know you're there. You know I'm there. All you got to do is show me a bit of you that I can actually shoot. Like that, like that. No, don't do that! Ugh! <laughs> I can't do it in your face. It don't work. 
Partly because it won't kill you. Oh, look, you're behind a little hill, aren't you? Oh, you horrible creature. There's a fox over there as well. Um... Like, please, okay, if I stand up, I hit one. Right, where's that? Where's that rest zone? There it is. Right, we'll grab that. Okay, that's a fox need zone. That's actually what we came here to find. Thus making this whole trip a total success. It is a fox need zone right on the border of the area though, which isn't great news. Is any old foxy who gets in there might uh Well you didn't get far, did you? I suppose it's a bit difficult to get far when Something pierces most of your body, but Jesus. Um, it's not an ideal placement for a need zone, but it's a need zone. What way do I want to go? I could wrap it up there, it's quarter two. That's probably a good length of stream. I'm kind of happy with what we achieved. We did some goose hunting. It was not as tedious as I expected. It was not as fun as it like could have been. It was a nice sort of middle ground between good and bad. Uh, it would probably be more fun if I was a better shot with a shotgun so I could actually get more than one goose per go around. Yeah, we're going to call it there, I think. Um, so that has been me, uh, playing some The Hunter Call of the Wild. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the stream. Uh, I want to say a big shout out and thank you to uh, everyone who spoke up in chat. Croesus Sion, who's new and a first time follow. Shaskor, who's a first time follow as well. Uh, it was lovely to have you guys around. Uh, I'm going to have a look and see how many of you there are, and see if it's worth doing a little bit of a raid on someone. How many of you does Twitch think exists? Twitch reckons there's three of you, that's probably worth going for. Uh, let's have a quick look see to see who's online. Uh, Lady Shark is online, playing... Cyberpunk, and I've kind of enjoyed their streams, the, the ones I've caught of them, or I've not seen them playing Cyberpunk. Uh, so let's see if we can head on over to there. Uh, thank you guys everyone so much for watching. Um, if you are here with me on Twitch and you haven't clicked that follow button, please do. Uh, it's always nice to have more of you on board. Uh, I will be back tomorrow at the same time, so that's midday British time, uh, playing not this, uh, probably playing more Per Aspera because I've been really loving getting into it. Uh, and you can follow me on Twitter, at Diz for Demise, to see when that happens. Other than that, my name has been Dizzy. I will see you all next time, you lovely, lovely people. Ta-ra!